Hey everybody, we got a good looking group here today. We're sitting out here in Riverside, California at the Quick Start Real Estate School. We just got off the bus, we're eating lunch, and now we're filming this for you. And over here to my right is Mary Ann Nunez, who lives here. If you've ever tuned in to any of our question and answers, she's always on them. I've probably answered 50 questions from her over the last couple of years. So I'm going to give her the right to ask the first one today. All right. Okay. What's your question, Marianne? Uh, what's your question okay. in person? Yes. Wow. Uh, my question is, if I have some terms deals ongoing where I have lease options, tenant buyers in the property. I can't hear you. <clears throat> if she you has some terms deals, deals ongoing, yes. ongoing with and lease purchase buyers in the property. Right. property and I pass away, what happens to those if my kids are You have property, you lease option, tenants in them, you die, Yes. your kids handle it, they won't can, matter, they can take you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to worry about it. No, 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 I want to make sure that they don't lose it. That's, that's all uh, relevant to the rest of your estate plan. That's, okay. a, that's a, a question for an estate planning okay. attorney. Make sure you set it up so right. that it does go where you want it to go. Okay. All right. Can we talk about Marianne one more time? Sure. Okay. So we're here at the Quick Start Real Estate School. We did live seller calls on the first night. And we called one of Marianne's leads that she got from Eagle VA. It looks no, like, or where did you get no, it? Our leads. Oh, wait. No. From For Sale by Owner. So you called them first yourself. Yeah. And uh, the numbers on this is the house is worth six hundred eighty thousand dollars. Wow. The seller wanted six fifty five. We got the seller down a little bit, down to six forty nine. The mortgage is five fifty. PITI principal interest property taxes and insurance is thirty two hundred. The seller said that they would do it with nothing down. This was a live seller call, and it's thirty two hundred a month. And get this, the seller agreed to thirty years. Wow. Wow. Yay, Marianne! So, uh, you gotta go get that thing signed up. I know. Okay. Put somebody in there and collect a fifty to hundred thousand dollar deposit. Oh my gosh. Keep it all, and probably get maybe five to a thousand, hundred to a thousand dollars a month positive cash flow for as long as it takes for somebody to cash you out. Then I'll get my mentor. And then you'll. Get it. <laughs> That's the wrong answer, but. <laughs> <laughs> okay, back to ask Ron. Question number one is from. Hannah in New Jersey. Hi, Hannah. She says, please clarify. I buy a property in an LLC. I buy with owner financing and put property in a land trust at closing. When the land trust sells and the property, the trust is sells. When the land trust sells the property, the trust is dead. Correct. Doing deals this way, do I have any reason to be concerned about Dodd Frank. No. Can I also buy a property in a land trust without using an LLC? Yes. All right, done with that question. <laughs> Next question is from Anna in Virginia Beach. Hi Anna. I have a lead sheet where the asking price is 150,000. Yep. Comps are one hundred and fifty-eight thousand, yep. and payment is four hundred and fifty a month on a home equity loan. Okay. Balance on the loan is fifty thousand. Okay. An addition was put on the back with new electric, HAVC, and passed all inspections. We can move ASAP as he has another house and wants to move out of the city. Would it be feasible to ask the seller if I can make the payments of four fifty? Until the fifty thousand is paid, and then either four hundred and fifty indefinitely, or balloon with the remaining one hundred thousand on the asking price. Well, that's not how we do it. We don't make sellers offers; they make us offers. We ask the seller what's the least you would accept, what's the least you can take per month, and we'll may I assume you'll sell with nothing down. When you ask the seller those questions, they'll give you the answers, which might surprise you if you ask them correctly using our scripts. So um, I don't know whether the seller's going to let you make a 450 payment or not. Why don't you let them tell you, and then you can take it from there. That's the proper way to do it, is all of these folks in this room are finding out as we're popping deal after deal after deal after deal from leads that they, they brought in. You don't make offers. They make them to you. 
pretty uh, nice business. All right, and the next question and final question is from Herschel in California. Hi, Herschel. Oh, California, you should be wow. here. Wow. Yeah. Where are you? Yes. Here? Well, you should be here. Herschel's, Herschel's uh, scenario is as follows. I have a particular property in a land trust with myself as trustee. I received a check from the mortgage company for a refund of surplus escrow money. When I set up the trust, I used all your authorization forms. I obviously have the declaration of trust and I have assigned a notarized limited power of attorney from the seller to conduct all business relating to the subject property. Mary Harris is the seller beneficiary of the trust. <laughs> I'm getting there. I am the trustee. The check is made payable as follows. Mary Harris, care of Herschel Brannon. Can I endorse the check and deposit it, or do I need to send it to the seller for endorsement and hope to, to get back to me? Why don't you me? ask your bank that question? Why is that a question for us? No matter what we say, your bank has got to be willing to accept the check. And then if it's not right, somebody's going to have to go back and do it over, whatever it takes. That's, that's not a question to send to me. All right, and that concludes this week's Ask Ron. Okay. Right. Thank you. See you guys next Bye. week. Bye. Bye.